Uh, this is Two Echo Zero Bravo, Mike Tango returning. Hi there YouTube, my name's Ben, Two Echo Zero, Bravo Mike Tango, and today I'm going to build a portable Yagi antenna for SOTA activations. So I've got three different elements to this. Firstly, I've got uh, a dipole. This is by a company called Seacom. I picked it up on eBay a little while ago. Um, it's a great dipole. There's nothing particularly fancy about it, but it has got a telescopic element, which means you can set it and tune it to different bands. So I've set this to uh, around about resonant on 145. Uh, so that it can reach both up into the FM range and down into the SSB range, so that it's usable on both. It has a relatively low SWR on both. So that's what I'm working with. And then I've bought some conduit, uh, this stuff, this sort of rigid black poles uh, that I think is just trunking to put cables in outside a building. I bought some lengths of this from Screwfix. And then finally, I bought some of this uh, five mil aluminium um, rods Annoyingly, a lot of places only sell it up to one meter in length, but for the reflector, you need slightly more than a meter. So anyway, I've tracked them down and I've got a few rods of this. So let's get measuring. Well, if you're like me, you don't have a workshop, so you make use of any room in the house. Here I am in the living room. And uh, what I've done here is I've cut the conduit in half and put a T-junction in the middle. Now my hope is that that will end up as a point of balance and then the elements and dipole can go across the top. So now what I have to do is very accurately mark out and measure where the reflector, the dipole, and each of the elements and directors are going to be so that I can start drilling some holes and cutting some things. So one of the things that I really wanted to achieve with this antenna was for it to be quickly deployable. So that if you're up a mountain and it's cold and wet and windy, you can very quickly throw something up that's got a lot of gain get some signals out there, get some reports back, and then get off the mountain. So uh, I have found these little clips on eBay, and uh, they're four or five mil rods so that the uh, clip can go straight in there. But I've come across a bit of a snag. Can you see how I've just screwed that one in? Some of them, the screw hasn't taken on the conduit, because of course you're not really meant to screw into conduit. So I've had to use a bit of a um, Jubilee clip to hold some of them on. Uh, but anyway, that seems to be working fine, so let me carry on and see where I get to. Okay, so I've decided that for the, um, there's a hole drilled in this piece of conduit here where the dipole is going to sit, and, and basically I'm just going to make it quick release. So I've got a little rubber stopper here that I just found in the garage, and uh, it's going to just pop straight through that hole, and then... Uh, the rubber stopper can go on the other side. Now, that's then fixed, that's pretty sturdy. It's not permanent, but it's very, very quick so that I can just put the dipole on and uh, go for it. So let's put the other things on and see where we get to. Great, so I think that's the last of the elements cut. I found this old camera tripod. I might not take this out with me, but it'll certainly help to set it up. So I think what we've got now is a T point here which goes onto this element here and that obviously then has a further so that's my beam if that makes sense. Now it's not very well balanced at the moment because it hasn't got the other elements on but they're now cut to size ready to be added on. So. I've, I've just numbered them, as you'll see here, with uh, a bit of masking tape and the different numbers on. So that is the reflector that goes in at that end. And then we've got one, two, three and four here, so that it's got six elements. I think this will give me about eight or nine dB of gain in the end, and hopefully we'll be really, really quick to put together, particularly if it's blowing a hoolie up a mountainside. And if my maths is right, yeah, it's found a point of balance in the middle there. So I think that is probably ready to test. So this is it, uh, clapped down. There's uh, one bit of the beam there. That's actually the longest piece. And all of the elements sit inside one of the extendable sections. And uh, let's just see how this section of the beam is. So that is 
one meter ten, one meter ten. So about the length of a walking pole, something like that. So it'll easily go on the side of a backpack, ready to hike up a mountain. Let's test this out, shall we? Obviously, portability is the name of the game here. So let's see what all this comes to. Okay, just less than one and a half kilograms, but that includes the two extension pieces, which I don't necessarily have to have with me. So maybe. 1300 grams. So the real test here is how fast can you set all this up and get on the air? I've got my FG817 ready to go, coax plugged in, which is a bit of cheating, but it'll save a couple of seconds. Let's see how quick I can get this up. Three, two, one, start the clock. Siku, 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 this is Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango. Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, calling Siku, 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 standing by. Well, there we go, no surprises there that uh, no one was listening in. All the houses around here, let's take it up a hill and see where we get to. Siku, 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 this is Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango. Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, listening for any calls. Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango. Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, from Golf 8, Delta, Kilo, Kilo, Golf 8, Delta, Kilo, Kilo, in Hertfordshire, over. Golf 8, Delta, Kilo, Kilo, you are 5959. Do you want to go up to, uh, uh, what should we go, 310, 310? Roger, 310. Uh, two zero, Bravo, Mike Tango. From Golf Delta Kilo Kilo 2Ks. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, good afternoon. Uh, you're um, quite a good signal down here with a bit of QSB. My name is Brian, Bravo Romeo, Yankee, America, November. And my QDH is in Hertfordshire, and the name of the town is Letchworth in Italy, Oscar, 9-1, Victor X-Ray. IO 91 Victor X ray. Germany 3 Sierra Echo Delta G3 SPT. Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango. Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango. Delta, G3 SED. Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango. Yeah, Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango. Good afternoon. Um, shall we go to 280? Yeah, Roger, Roger, QSY 280. Mike Tango, Golf 3 Sierra, Echo Delta. Good afternoon to you. Uh, name's Mike, UPH just uh, to the east of Southampton. Southampton? And, uh, Fading. Golf 3 Sierra, Sierra Echo Delta, 2E0 BMT returning. I am Italy Oscar 92 Romeo Papa. I repeat, Italy Oscar 92 Nina 2 Romeo Papa. Over, over. Nine zero Italy Victoria, South Coast, two hundred kilometres, brilliant. Doesn't sound that up to me. So, um, 
Anyway, uh, nice to meet you for the first time, Ben. And uh, the new antenna, I think you said you uh, just built a new antenna. That's obviously working fine. So you can tell me a bit more about that. Okay, you just came up to five and five then. So uh, that's not bad, is it? I mean, that's a good old haul. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just staggered with the 817 and 5 watts. Really doing well. So uh, congratulations on that. And I bet you're pleased having built the area yourself. That's good. So, um, yeah, not a bad contact at all, is it? Um, uh, for, for, uh, for an 817, it just shows. So one of the things that I really like about this antenna is if it's not going well on SSB, you can always flip it 90 degrees and go on FM. Let's try that. CQ, 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 CQ. This is 2 Echo 0, Bravo Mike Tango, 2E0 BMT, listening for any calls. Ah, Martin, G4YNT. I'm out working some portable and didn't get far on sideband, so I thought I'd try FM instead. How are you today? Yeah, it's not too bad. I've just been out for a walk in the, uh, in the blue. Um, I wonder where, where else are you, Ben? G4YNT. I'm getting a bit cold now, so I'm going to go. But that was a few contacts. Southampton's really good on this, so I'll be taking this beam up a couple of mountains soon, hopefully take a video there as well. But uh, thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. That really helps me to know what videos people are liking. And uh, if you like this video, why not click the like button at the bottom? And I very much hope to catch you further down. This is 2E0 BMT, off and clear. So you're up on a mountain, it's cold, it's wet, it's rainy, you're done. How quickly can you take this thing to pieces and get out of there? Let's have another go, start the clock. Not bad, eh? Uh, this is 2 Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango returning. 